you know what I haven't done in forever? A video blog. So here's a new video blog. A uh, newish friend on Facebook said the other day, you know what you should do? You should do a video blog. That would be fantastic. I would love it. I was like, you know what? I used to do that. I think I should do it again. So we're going to try and start doing them again. So here's the number one of the reboot, if you will. Um, so I was listening to a podcast, Newsworthy with Norsworthy, the other day. And he was talking about this Bible passage that I'd heard countless times before. And there's been lots of them like this in recent memory where they like kind of was like, wah, 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 wah. You know, I mean, not literally, but in a sense of like, it's old hat. You're like, oh yeah, totally got it. Totally been there, done that. It just kind of like goes in one ear and out the other because you've heard it so many times. You know what I mean? Um, there's sayings, there's all sorts of things in life like that. And then, but this time it was like, bam, like brand new, like, oh angels singing and all that kind of stuff so it's pretty cool so I wanted to share my experience and then kind of elaborate you know add my thoughts uh, with you so uh, I'll read you a little more than what I'll talk about but uh, here's the passage first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 15 through 19 uh, the author of this is the Apostle Paul and he says see that none of you repays evil for evil but always seek to do good to one another and to all rejoice always Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. And so I share this because I think that, you know, I imagine that a lot of us are in the same boat, that we, we want to do more good in the world. We want to make the world a better place. We want to see um, what we leave for our kids and our grandkids and, you know, or just the, you know, nephews. And, and so uh, nieces and so on, um, better than what was handed to us, right? You know, and uh, so how do we do that? We do more good. So that's the beginning of the passage: is do good always. Well, how do we do good always? And so I kind of think it's not exactly in reverse order, but I think if you take the four alwayses, there's four basically always in the passage in reverse-ish order, kind of combining the last two and starting with the third one, <laughs> then um, you get back to the how do you do good always. So if you start with the, the third one, the pray without ceasing, well, what's that mean? And so prayer to me, there's lots that can be said, but an aspect of it is an awareness of God. And so what's that mean? And so it's an awareness that we are never outside of God. It's an awareness. It's having our eyes open to that there is always love around us and in us. That there is always beauty and majesty and glory and wonder and miracles and awe. Each breath is fantastic and a gift. Each chirping of the bird is a glorious song. Birds is a glorious song. Each sunset is a magnificent masterpiece. Each um, downpour of rain is a life-giving experience. Each thunderstorm is this glorious event. Each cloud rolling through the sky is this miracle. And, you know, there's just so, the, you know, any time that we are encouraged or hugged or cared for or get to cry on or cry be cried to with another person is this divine connection. Each time we get to cuddle with our favorite four furry four-legged creature our favorite pet is a, a divine experience we are always in this bubble in a sense like you know of divine goodness even though there is the other stuff crap in there but there is always so much to be thankful for right so when we open our eyes to that that brings us to thanksgiving so that combines that la the last one with the second to last one um, because then where our hearts are filled with gratitude because we're like there's so much good this breath is amazing this hug is fantastic these steps this yoga pose I mean all there's so much to be thankful for and then when we open ourselves up to that and we start bringing that to our mind to our consciousness then we're filled with this deep joy that passes understanding that's with us no matter what the circumstances because it's a divine gift joy is something that is in us and can be with us in everything that we do and when we uh, just have to kind of open our eyes to the goodness that's around and then we feel the joy and then as we tune into that experience and feel 
you know, tap into that deep joy, then it'll just naturally and freely pour out of us and we'll do good. We'll care for others. We'll be kind for others and ourselves, right? You know, I define what love is the bottom line. That's the point of life. And I define love as giving for the thriving and flourishing. We will just naturally and freely do that because we've tapped into the flow. That's the nature of reality. When we open our eyes up to see the divine goodness all around us, then we will join that flow of giving and receiving the goodness. And so that's how we increasingly day by day do more and more good, you know, working towards doing good always, right? And so um, hopefully that makes sense and helps. And I'll leave you with this, what I was really just a blessing that I came across these words from Desmond Tutu that I think um, uh, lands the plane in a really cool way. So here's the words from Desmond Tutu. Dear child of God, you are loved with a love that nothing can shake. A love that loved you long before you were created. A love that will be there long after everything has disappeared. You are precious, with a preciousness that is totally quite immeasurable. And God wants you to be like God, filled with life and goodness and laughter and joy. Much love to you all. Grace and peace, my friends.